Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're looking at the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 1, these first two verses where we find that Joshua is called to be the new leader of the nation of Israel and to lead them into the land of promise, the place of victory. And I believe that's where God wants us all to be as believers every day. And that is by faith, walking in victory in Jesus Christ. Now, I heard a saying back years ago when I was in college, Bible school that is, and I will never forget it. And someone said, everything rises and falls on leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. Whenever God is ready and preparing to do a great work, He always looks for a leader, someone who will be His servant, someone who will follow Him and do His commandments and do what He has called them to do, fulfill what He's called them to do. God called Moses to lead the people of Israel out of Israel, out of Egypt, and made them during that time a great nation that could fight big, terrible enemies. Then when God was getting ready to send them into the promised land and Moses is about to die, 120 years of age, he has another leader and his name is Joshua. But he did, he, he was prepared. Matter of fact, he was found by prayer. Joshua was found by prayer. In, uh, in Numbers chapter 27, in verse 16, then Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of all the spirits in all flesh, set a man over the congregation, who may go out before them and go in before them, who may lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be like sheep which have no shepherd. And the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, with you, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand upon him. So God called Joshua, and he showed Moses that this is the man who is to be your leader. And I think that is wonderful. And then as you go on over, again, you know that he is encouraged by Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 3. And after they had fought Og, the king of Bashan, and Sion, the king of Heshbon, then the Lord, he said, And I commanded Joshua at that time, and that's Moses speaking, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So will the Lord do to all the kingdoms through which you pass. You must not fear them, for the Lord God himself fights for you. And so, therefore, we see... Moses again encouraging Joshua to be the new leader. And then even as you go over to Deuteronomy chapter 31, Moses is about to die. The people are on the border of the Jordan River getting ready to cross it. And God, and then it says in Deuteronomy 31, 7, Then Moses called Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and of good courage. And for you must go with this people to the land which the Lord swore to their fathers to give them, and you shall cause them to inherit it. And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Now that takes us back to Joshua chapter 1, and it says, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise and go over this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am given to them, the children of Israel. And so we find even in this first chapter, God again tells him several times, do not fear, be courageous. And Joshua was a man of faith because the word of God was hidden in his heart. The commandments of God were there. And God told him, if you observe to do everything that's written in this book, he said, I'm telling you, you will be prosperous and you will have good success. My friend, we need to pray for great leaders, good leaders, to lead our homes, to lead our churches, to lead our communities, to lead our nation. And as we pray, God can answer our prayers like He did 
Moses and God can give us some Joshua's. But our greatest leader of all is of all is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's follow him. God bless and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.